Once a year, we go to an event called Evo. It's a pretty big event. Sometimes we win. Most of the times we lose. But one thing that's consistent, no matter the result, is that when you're in Vegas, you gotta indulge just a little bit. I'm here with my coach and best friend, Lewis. Okay. We're gonna go enjoy and make a little tier list of all the items at the Border Grill, a Mexican grill right in the heart of the Mandalay Bay. So, without further ado, we are hungry as fuck. Here we are, inside the Border Grill, and joined by none other than the head chef herself. Hi, how Susan, are you? I'm great. I am, I'm pretty hungry, I'm not gonna lie. Good, I'm excited. <laughs> what would you say is your favorite dish to cook? What are you gonna give us today? What everything. Are you, everything? Yeah. <laughs> I, do you have one favorite thing you like to eat? I would say brisket and, <laughs> and burritos, I would say. What we're gonna do here is, along with this, give everything a rating between an S plus being the highest, down to an F. I'm gonna give you all my brutally honest ratings. You've already given us a little, uh, I haven't even tried this. This is the white yeah. peach tea you've given us. Wait, wait, you better oh. stir it. I gotta stir it, you're right, you're right. What's in here to make this so? So it's uh, peaches right now are really gorgeous, so it's pureed peach, so it's that. Right, it's August, simple yeah. Simple syrup, sparkling water, fresh lime juice. All right, give it a go. Oops. I spilled some because of my beer. <laughs> But the reason I spilled it is because I couldn't help getting more. It's so refreshing, it's like exactly what you want when you come in here. This one's really, really good too. That's like a nice little fizz to it. Oh yeah, the fizz is important. This is already an S tier drink for me to be honest. I will and are you hungry? I would say I'm hungry, hungry as f probably. Yeah. <laughs> so I brought you some ceviche to try. Yeah, we'll just put it right here for you. Ceviche, lovely. Yeah. This is like a Peruvian style ceviche. It has a aji panca, which is a Peruvian style chili, a little spicy. The other one on the tostada, it's a Baja style ceviche. It has mahi mahi, a little oh. shrimp, avocado. It's more tropical, I like that, yeah. Sauce. Oh really, my. really good, right? And then on the side here, uh, we made a ceviche without using like any raw fish. So if somebody's like, hey, I don't need raw fish, can we just have some crab and some avocado? So we created this. So we got Peru, Baja, and Mandalay Bay style ceviche. That's it, my brother. All right. Very good. I want to try all, all three. I think yeah. the, the plantain method is definitely the, the play here. Speaking of plantain, oh. I also brought you over some plantain empanada. We take plantains and we whip them into a masa. And then we stuff them with black beans, cotija cheese, and we fry them until they get like super delicious. So give that a try. I'm a, that's the first thing I want to eat, really. All right, uh, thank you. All right, so these are the house made empanadas. Awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> Might be one of the best empanadas I've ever had in my life. And the fact that they make an empanada with so much flavor of plantains, it's sweet but also savory. Yeah, it's like crunchy but also soft. And they only give you one because they know if they give you any more of this, you're, you're, <laughs> you're done not for gonna the. have anything else. It's actually really good. Oh my god. Ceviche, right? So we got we got Peruvian Baja Mandalay Bay style. So she said, let's get one each. Let's break this plantain. Right. And then we kind of just use it as a fork and Good. dip Should in. Get some and stuff in there? Yeah, I'm trying to. There we go. Let's see it. So you take basically the crunchiness of that plantain and it adds like a little serving poop. It's it, it's a traditional dipping chips and guac, but of course the V-shape, yeah. you got all the flavors in the area of the fish. And it's meant to be a very, very light appetizer. Now next, of course, we have the Baja style. He might have taken my word right, for it. I think that's just you. That's it's all, all me? Do. All right. <laughs> the big, 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 big bite. <laughs> yeah. Am I in the splash zone? Like, do I? <laughs> wow. The lime in that with the mahi cuts through really, really well. I like this one even more than the Peruvian one. All right, Lou, and then let's, and let's go ahead. This is the Mandalay Bay style. They said they made this basically for people who didn't want to explicitly eat fish, but rather crab instead. With what looks like a homemade sauce, too. All right. There we go. This dish, I think, is good if you're looking to start off with uh, something light. Yeah. And a little bit of like uh, contrast between like soft and like crunchy. If you know you're going to order like a, a, a super heavy burrito and you wanted something small, this is really, really good. This is the best alternative to chips you can have. They don't fill you up as much because there's no carbs in here. It's just fried chicken skin. It's like when you go to the KFC, and it's the best part of the chicken. I'm gonna dip that actually in the house-made guac and ascend to another oh, dimension. You, mad you know what I do. You ready for this? That's a great idea. You ready for this? What the fuck? 
fuck, dude. <laughs> That's S plus. That's S with 10 plus in front of it. So we just finished up basically the appetizer round here at Border Grill. I would say that overall, uh, in terms of rankings, my favorite thing here was that sort of plantain mix empanada they gave us to us. Perfect combination of sweet and savory. Easy S plus. They brought out some good ceviche too, Baja style, Peruvian style, and house style here. That was to me, the, the regular ceviches were a B plus and a house style with that crab instead of the fish. Yep. That was an A minus or an A for me. Special delivery. Oh, how are you? Oh, geez. So what you guys have here is a uh, burning <laughs> burrito. Oh, oh Mexicana, my God. Wow. You got Texas style brisket. You got barbecue chips in there. You got chipotle coleslaw. Dude. Hawkins string cheese, habanero molasses barbecue, and a little chipotle aioli. How many things are in this burrito? The layers, dude. This is the entire the, the entire state of Texas, the entire country of Mexico, the entire United States in this burrito. It's one thing awesome. to have this as a platter with a side of slaw, to have it with a chip on the side, maybe a little, you know, uh, the right amount of barbecue. The fact that they managed to not only get one, two, but six of these ingredients in here and make them incredibly good and balanced, yeah. this might actually be the best burrito I've ever had. And you're talking to a man who's eating too many burritos for his own good, clearly. But um, this is easily an S plus burrito for me. The crunch of the chips yeah. with the tenderness of the meat, with the slaw giving nice. a nice little accent on top. This shit's a home run. <laughs> I know you're getting full, <laughs> but I wanted you to at least kind of see some fun tacos that we oh, do. Oh, right? tacos. So All right, tacos through these. Tacos al pastor. Yes. It's, uh, you know, pineapple, guajillo, little habanero. These are our mahi mahi fish tacos. Oh, on the left right here. A little avocado, you know, spicy cabbage salt, avocado sauce. So enjoy this, and then I have some kick ass desserts, man. I can't wait for you guys to try these. All right. All right, I'll be back. The Mahi Mahi taco here and a taco, an al pastor taco, one for each of us. So we got the slaw on top, the fish. We got a little plate right here, so I'm gonna make a mess. Spoiler, I will anyway. The slaw on that, the fish, so good. This fish, very light. Uh, some of the other dishes tend to be like more heavy on the savory and they contrast with this one, very light. Mahi cooked deliciously, marinated great. And then of course, the Alpa store, I can already see the juices out of the beef flowing. <laughs> Here we go. That taco, I think that would actually be one of the best tacos I've ever had in my life. That's an S tier taco. You alright there, buddy? Can you handle this? <laughs> This meat, I can guarantee, was slow cooked just like the rest of it. And you put that pineapple slaw with it, bro, I, I'm an Andromeda. That one was an also S plus taco for me. I've been gaming for the game I play for 12 years now. I'm every day discovering something new I can fix, something just small that I can tweak, which makes it that much more significant. And you've been in the game here, how, how many years now cooking? 40 plus. 40, you've been doing this almost four times as much as I've been gaming. And it's so evident, it's so evident, even if it was trial and error or experimentation or just getting reactions and reviewing it, you clearly put us into an art. It's constantly tweaking, that's, that's the name of the game. It's, it's just long-term optimization, the long con. Yeah, yeah. The long con, it always pays off. Susan, this was so far incredible. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you. Everyone, Susan, she's been a great host here, the chef and owner of Border Grill. Yes. That's our tres leches right there. So it's a very traditional Mexican sponge cake. Um, and it's, uh, you know, coconut milk, sweet condensed milk, evaporated milk. We just keep pouring it until that sponge cake can't take it anymore, right? <laughs> um, it, <laughs> right? They're like, no, stop, no more no! milk. <laughs> And then we have like an almond cake, which is our flourless chocolate cake. So somebody oh, you know, man. they have flour, they have celiacs. You know, That's thoughtful, yeah. And then I make 
make my own uh, salted caramel uh, chocolate chip cookies with a little praline ice cream to go with it. We oh. can our cookies and milk. I can't wait. <laughs> so, enjoy. It's all come down to this, Louis. Let's try the cookies first with ice cream. Sure. It's most honest, right? Again, it's a nice, light, airy cookie. You put that praline ice cream on top. The cookie has a crunch, but also the praline of the ice cream also make a crunch. Yeah, I think it's like, what is this? What's on top? It's like a, is it like a coconut thing? Uh, praline and coconut, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think it'll be a plus. Okay, next. This is the flourless almond fudge cake, I believe. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. That's what I was thinking too. With this like not on top. Oh, it's flourless. It's so, it's so just pleasant to eat. It's so non-intrusive. You know what I mean? Definitely pairing this with the ice cream is the play in my opinion. Yeah. And now, the final bite of the night. With a nice little uh, black bear on the side. It's oozing. They weren't kidding. I wish you guys could see it, just cause like. It's oozing milk. Can these guys make a trust latches? That's the best part here, out of these three, by far, no contest. Mmm. I want to punch you, that's so good. I want to punch my own best friend, that's how good, good it is. Man, they weren't kidding. They put as much condensed milk into that sponge cake while it was screaming, begging for no more. The most delicious torture for a food you could ask for. S tier, is it for me? The other two are about B plus for me. I think we should each right now pick one dish, one epoch of this hundred year Mexican journey that we thought was the best bite of the night. So what was your BBOTN, Lewis? You gotta pick one. What is it? What are you going home with? My, my babadin. Your babadin, yeah. Right, my babadin. I think for me it was the, the silver bullet. Uh, just the first bite that I had of that silver bullet, like the nice, like crunchy, like refreshing all... with this nice juicy meat. Well, I will agree. Uh, Silver Bullet is, might be the best burrito I've ever had in my life. Uh, the bite that did it for me tonight was the Al Pastor Taco. I had to step up from the table for a second to collect myself, so I was gonna burst into tears. Because uh, that taco reminded me of everything that's good in life. You really don't appreciate good food until you really have had food that is good. Right. Food that has made not only good ingredients, but good people behind it. And I think here at the Border Grill, it's nothing but good. Yeah. This is an S tier restaurant, and I'm very proud for it to be on Hungry as Fuck.